welcome back everyone. Pete and I are just going on our first post cyclone Jasper ride to see how the tracks are. Um, the main road in was slippery as all shit because they put all gravel on it was all for the good but you just have to take it easy. They've done the same with this one but we're not expecting to get through too many things but we just want to have a look so we know what's happening. Obviously there's going to be some coal that's washed out and shit, but anyhow, we'll see what happens, I'll keep you in the loop. I don't... Not going to go through the cattle station today, um, he don't want to cut his tracks up too much, so... We'll go round him today. Tried out pretty well, really. But... First challenge. Didn't even get our boots wet that day. Seems pretty good at the moment. This is just the main track in. We don't know how the little side tracks will be. So I hope everyone had a good Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, oh shit! Thought that was a wire. <laughs> yeah, and everyone had a safe one. We had a bit of a wet one, but that can't be helped. So. A lot of people worse off than we were so yeah out of the whole street i think there was 31 houses in total at the end and we were one of the five that didn't flood we were lucky got within about um five or ten meters of our place as coming up the driveway probably a, a foot in depth from getting into our place But there's a lot of people worse, so thoughts are with them. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we go. of these tracks all right so they're not as half cut up as after the wet season so pretty happy with that the other little side tracks might be pretty cool too yeah Pete's sporting a new chain two new sprockets so you should have no excuses hey out there by the way Pete bounced side big rock <laughs> a 
lots of slippery rocks there for me. Out of practice, four weeks without being in the bush. So at the time of making this, we're three weeks after Cyclone Jasper, two weeks after the floods. Sorry, I had to open the visor, it's getting a bit hot, so I apologise for any wind noise you might get. Oof. used to get me come up there nice and easy then come down this very steep now it's very steep with lots of loose rocks and now we just coax them down Bit of a wash out here that we've got to um, go through. This road copped it pretty bad. Didn't know if the GoPro showed it, but it's all um, down to the clay underneath it. Half the soil's been washed right away. About 100 mil of soil just gone. <laughs> this ride I've tried to um, copy our pre cyclone ride wherever we can. Just so you can get an idea of um, any damage or that we've had up here. But there'll be some other tracks there too. Don't know if you can see that, but see the water a little there. That's one good thing about it. Oh, I forgot I was going to take a photo of them. Better keep going, but... Pete stopped, I thought there was something. Oh, just a little bit of rocks. <laughs> oh shit. Big rut I didn't see. Going slowly so you can see it all washed out. <laughs> Makes for a good track, but the trouble is this track goes into a settlement, so those people can't get in and out. Little swamps all overflowed a bit.
washouts here. Don't want to go into them with this place. Creek crossing down there, we come across there, but yeah, I don't think we'll be doing that for a little while. See all the sand up on the hills, that was a bush before. Sorry everyone, camera failed up to this point and I couldn't do an outro, so I apologise. This is as far as we could get on the tracks, all the rest of the roads were cut off. Um, no further access allowed by National Parks and State Forest. Um, so I apologise for the outro, but I've solved the problem for next time. I've got the backup camera with me. So my apologies. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Please like and subscribe.